Tara's back! Tara! It's Tara, everyone! It's Tara! <laughs> Citizens of the Reject Nation, it's me, Tara Eriks, and I'm back! Woo-hoo. With this guy! Say your name. My name is Andrew, and I'm so excited no, to... No, you forgot the Flash, Oh, Gordon. okay. Say your name! Andrew Flash Gordon. Yeah. Yes, and I'm so excited that you are back. Oh, Tara, we missed you. I'm alive, you guys. This might air as the first one to be back at the Real Rejects. I did film another reaction with Gregory. I don't know which one's going to come out first, but I, I love you guys. I miss you so much. I miss Flash Gordon so much. We're going to watch The Divergent today, you Yay. guys. I'm super stoked. Don't forget, you got to leave a like. You got to type in there in the comments whether you love this movie or not, but tell us how much you love us, please, and also also, don't forget to ring the bell. Ring the bell. Thanks, Prepper, for helping us edit down these videos. And also, if you haven't gotten on Patreon, what are you doing with your life? Because you can watch this full reaction with me and Andrew. Like the whole thing if you're on Patreon. Get with it. Give us those dollars. Give us those dollars. <laughs> um, and that's it. Leo Burger. I don't know him, but I like that his last name is Burger. I do like burgers too. I love me a good burger. But I do remember really enjoying Limitless. I like that film a lot. Let us know if you want uh, Tara to check that one out. Ooh. That's a good one with Bradley Cooper. That's a beautiful opening shot. Ashley Judd, okay. Ooh. Jack Courtney, I did know he was in that. I- Ray Stevenson? Oh, rest in peace. Holy crap. Wow. Whoa, that looks awesome. Miles Teller? Miles Teller's in Jeez, this? Jeez, Tony Goldwyn. Oh, get out Holy of town. Holy crap. This is quite a cast. Oh, Maggie Q. Remember her from Live Free or Die Hard? Oh, yeah. Oh, Kate, Kate Winslet. Winslet. Jesus, this is You enough. guys. If how anything, we... an ensemble cast. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know how the quality of the film's going to be, but the casting cast is, is like A+. A plus. 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I, this, I don't know if I like the future. No, it looks like a zombie apocalypse came over at Chicago, but I'm I'm actually really liking how it looks. Junkie XL, I love Junkie XL. Oh, and Hans, Hans Zimmer. Zimmer. Damn. Well, the last time I can remember Junkie XL and Hans Zimmer did work together, I believe it was Batman v Superman. Whoa. So this was their Encyclopedia pre, their, facts. Their prelude guy. was this. Oh, this looks interesting why are they all color like it's like classes are separated by colored clothes or that's what it looked like we're lucky to be in the city they say the war was terrible that the rest of the world was destroyed Uh. our founders built the wall to keep us safe and they divided us into five groups factions to keep the peace the smart ones the ones who value knowledge and logic are an erudite i don't think i'd be in that group Amity farm the land. They're all about kindness and harmony. Farming seems more fun. Candor value honesty and order. They tell the truth, even when you wish they wouldn't. Mm. And then there's Dauntless. They're our protectors, our soldiers. I'd be Dauntless if I could be strong enough. Yeah. I always thought they were amazing. Brave, fearless, and free. Whoa. All right. Like Spider-Man. My faction is abnegation. The others all call us stiffs. We lead a simple life dedicated to helping others. We even feed the factionless. My father works alongside our leader, Marcus. Oh, man. I love him. Yeah, the Punisher. Yeah, in Rome. Ray Stevenson, and he was in Thor. Everyone knows where they belong, except for me. I tell you, I would not want to be a stiff. It's the worst name out of them all. My mother says there's an art to losing yourself, but I haven't figured it out yet. Like that lens flare. Yeah. I'm supposed to never think of myself, to never look too long in the mirror. Are you nervous? No. Who are you? Mm-mm. No. I was terrified. <laughs> but I didn't have any reason to be, and neither do you. That's all you get. Rules are rules. Interesting. I do like what the stiffs stand for. I just don't like their name. <laughs> Today, I take the test. I'm scared it'll tell me I'm not abnegation, that I have to leave my family. But I'm even more scared that it'll tell me to stay. Hmm. For my brother Caleb, it's easy. Let me help you with that. He's a natural. Beatrice, you want to get the other bags? I love him too. Test will tell me who I am, where I belong. Your actions tell you who you are. Yeah. Not a test. 
<laughs> Am I honest, selfless, or brave? She's brave, I bet. All the food that we're not getting, you guys are giving away. Miles Teller. Miles. Why are you lying to me? Everybody knows you keep it for yourselves. So why don't you just admit it? I'm talking to you. Are all you stiffs deaf or something? Hey. Ugh. I don't like him in this. <laughs> yeah, right? I literally grew this because of him. In ha! Top, in Top Gun Maverick. Oh, wow. Beatrice? Yeah, she's got to be, she's probably a protector. Cause she wanted to go over and like beat him up. Uh-oh. Nazari, show your true colors. Who are these people? I think these are the, 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 the oh, protectors. Oh, right, the protector. The, okay. Yeah, they're like the only ones that look like the, having the da- fun. The, the dauntless. Yeah. I'm glad that they wrote it out. It makes it easier to remember. Today, aptitude testing, based on your personality, will assign you to one of the factions. It is your right, tomorrow, the choosing ceremony, to choose any of the five factions, regardless of your test results. I'm going to go with Dauntless. What about you? Me too. Absolutely. Like her instinct to... Well, that also, too, kind of was a foreshadowing how they just ran out. Yeah. And she's also got that protective nature and instinct. Yeah, Yeah. totally. What is it with you? Abnegation and mirrors? Thank you, Q. I love her. You'll be offered a series of choices to test your aptitude for each faction until you get one result. I wouldn't sweat it. Mm. 95% get the faction of their origin, and from the looks of you, what is it? Bottoms up. Okay. Just like me, I always sniff right before you drink. (laughs) She's not there. Oh, whoa. I think she's in some kind of trance, possibly, from that drink. Yeah, okay. That happened quick. It's part of the aptitude test. Oh, she's not allowed to look in the mirror. She's looking now. Damn, that's trippy. (laughs) God, I would have an immediate panic attack. Yeah. Nope. There's so many of me. Uh, It's already (laughs) making me feel like, I don't like it. So curious how they achieved this visual shot. This look? Yeah. Yeah. It looks almost animated. Choose before it's too late. Why? Why will I do it? Choose. Okay, I'm going with the the meat. (laughs) Uh, Uh... Yeah, give he, give the doggy a steak, but she might have to kill it. Oh, oh, so, oh God! Oh. It's too late. Oh, oh no! I'm such an animal lover, I couldn't do it. <laughs> just, just get down and say, "Good doggy, we love you anyway." Oh! Ah! Uh. I submit to you. Yeah. Oh, good puppy. We love you. Damn. Oh, okay. This is where the protectiveness comes in. She's a dauntless. Yeah, get it, girl. Whoa. Hey, hey. That was interesting. Get up. We're going out the back door before a supervisor comes. Wait, what was my result? Come on. What happened? You exceeded the expectation? You're going to tell your family that the serum made you sick and that I sent you home, all right? Why? No, but what was my result? Abnegation. No. An erudite and dauntless. Hey. <gasps> she got all of them. That's impossible. It doesn't make any no, sense. Not impossible. It's just extremely rare. They call it divergent. That's the name of the movie. <laughs> That's the name of the movie. This was supposed to tell me what faction to choose, the test. We're supposed to trust the test. Didn't work on you. Ugh. You have to trust yourself. Now she just has the power of choice. Look, there's a law and order here, and we gotta <laughs> go by it. <laughs> no, now she has freedom. Ugh. <coughs> She's gonna show the people there's a different kind of world out there. She could uh, be a messiah, Tara. <laughs> She's a trinity of all those things. Right? Why did you just leave without telling anybody? I was sick. Beatrice, I don't think you understand the level of scrutiny we're under. Erudite. They believe that they should be the governing faction, not us. So you have to be careful right now, okay? Even Marcus is under attack. And he mistreated his son, and that's why the boy defected. Huh. Is that true? No. Of course not. Children defect for all kinds of reasons. The rules and the rule of law is so interesting. Yeah. Beatrice. What? Tomorrow when we choose, you have to think of the family, but you also have to think of yourself. 
Yeah. Good advice, big brother. This is definitely its own thing, but I am feeling that whole Hunger Game vibe too, as well. Yeah, especially that they have it color coded as oh, to yeah, where yeah. what house you kind of belong to. Also, to a totalitarian government yes. where you're very limited by your choices of what you are able to do. Is that the Goblet of Fire? That's my Harry one Harry Potter reference. For After, <laughs> Ooh, there's Kate. Hey, girl. It's like, this is what I su survived the Titanic for. <laughs> we both have a big decision to make today. I'm sure your parents will support whatever choice you make. <laughs> That's not supposed to be a choice. The test should tell us what to do. You're still free to choose. But you don't really want that. <laughs> I love how defined she is. I want you to choose who you truly are. Not because you wish you were someone you're not, but because you honestly know yourself. I want you to choose wisely. Okay, Kate. When we leave this room, you will no longer be dependent. I'm so, so sad he passed. I love you. No matter what. This is a lot of pressure. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Ooh. ah. Oh, Ow. and they put the blood in the bowl? There you die. Okay. Amity. I'm assuming she's going to pick Dauntless, Yeah, right? I mean... Even though she was basically told not to from What if she like can't choose when she's up there because she's actually a divergent? It's gotta be a less painful way to pick. Yeah, I'd be like, um, can I just point at the bowl? Right. Aerodite. Aerodite? Is that what he just chose? Wow. And his but his family's stiffs, right? They are. They're surprised. That's probably why he gave her that talk, saying we have to do what's right for the family, but also for us. Wow. But that's weird because he fits so well with the stiffs Oof. by helping. <laughs> but I'm curious if that's what his test came from. Said, to? right, yeah. yeah. What if she just like cuts her wrist and sprays it over <laughs> all the bowls? And You're in like, all five. I want all of it. You better not let it drip in there, girl. You said you needed to get away. You can literally feel yeah, over feel to heart the left beating. is the Dauntless, right? Dauntless. Hey. Okay, that's what we thought. Oh God, her, their poor family is like. I mean, her mom we, said, "I love you no matter what." Yeah, it's true. I think they're both just like, "Oh man, we lost." Both of our kids. And the test also said that yeah. she's a Dauntless. Yeah. So, I mean, she... Follow your heart, girl. Damn. They just lost both their children. <laughs> Shit. That's so rough. It's kind of a good metaphor, too, for parents, like, when they lose their kids after they graduate Well, she's going to get a lot of cardio in, so that's good. <laughs> It's like, damn, I wasn't ready for this. Yeah. And a lot of climbing in, too. Yeah, I'm a little more interested in, like, what else do you guys do besides, like, kind of act like monkeys? Like, do we help? I, I, like, I, well, I mean, yeah, we saw in the, the aptitude test that there's protective I mean, right. quality in nature. And, but and when they're not protecting, they're just like, let's climb on stuff. See, me as an actor and an actress, I'm like, uh, this has got to be wi wire work done here. I'm not doing this. Uh -huh. I'm, not to I'm not Tom Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Also, I'm like, why don't they give them clothes after they choose? <laughs> They're like, yeah. give them the. She seems happy. Okay. Oh my God, are they going to jump on the train? Welcome to your first day. <laughs> Yay! Okay, catch up, girl. Oh, God. Don't miss it. Whoa. Cool. That's a cool stunt right there. Look at those stunt people. Come on, Woodley. You can do it. What happens if she Jump. doesn't make it? Is she I know, right? Then it's like, no, she did. Whoa, Damn. that's spooky. I'm like, I guess I'm not a Dauntless anymore. Oh, Zoe Kravitz. <gasps> I'm Christina. Look how young yeah. she looks. Is it just me, or are they trying to kill us? This is kind of like an initiation, like Yeesh. when you go to like college and you join a sorority, which I never did, thank God. 
Get ready. It's like, what? What else do we have to do? It's just my first day, damn <laughs> it. Oh my God. It's like, maybe I should have just stuck with the stiffs. Jesus. No, man, she's got the wind in her hair, the sun on her face. Except this part, I'm very... They're jumping. What? Oh, God, the jumping thing. No. Nope. What if you don't jump? What do you think? I'll be factionless. Good luck, Al. What happens if you're factionless? I'm curious you're, if they're going like, to... You're like the people that they don't... They looked homeless. Oh, which right, is where right, 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 right. She right. made eye contact with that you're factionless right. girl you're, in the you're, alley. You're right, you're right, yep. Sorry, it's just so much information at it once, is. but yeah, now I remember. Whoa! Whoa! They made it! That's why you have to choose wisely. Yeah. I'm Eric. I'm one of your leaders. If you want to enter Dauntless, this is the way in. And if you don't have the guts to jump, then you don't belong in Dauntless. Is there water at the bottom or something? I guess you'll find out. Uh, I'd be like, okay, bye. If someone's got to go first, who's it going to be? Come on, Miles. No, I think Shailene Woodley's gonna do it. It's gotta be her, huh? Because it takes too long. Me. Get it, girl. Courage. Bravery. Or stupidity. I don't know. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> oh my oh God! I'd be like, nope. <laughs> okay. Nice knowing you guys. Uh, I'm out. I'll be factionless. Thank you. Yes, Tiff, take it off. <laughs> Put it back on. He's such a jerk in this movie. Ugh. Ugh. That is a they're doing a really good job of the shots and making us feel like we're in this environment with uh. the wind and like <gasps> Whoa, cool. Nice. I st I'm still not doing it. As fun as that look to watch right. on screen, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Guess that's why I wouldn't be dauntless. You would not. You'd be factionless. Well, I don't know if I'd be faction. I'd probably be part of the Erudite. I, I think I'd be part of the farming one. Yeah, whatever that, that was one called. was fun. What's your name? Is that a hard one? You can pick a new one if you want, but make it good. You don't get to pick again. My name's Tris. First jumper, Tris. All right. That looks like her. Like that's a little love spark there. Oh, there's definitely some romantic tension. I want to see what happens if, that would if be the me. guy like, breaks through the net. She did not scream. Uh, I told you, she's courageous. Most of the time I work in intelligence, but during your training, I'll be your instructor. My name's Four. Four. Four, like the number? Exactly like the number. You catch on quickly. What happened? One through three were taken? Hmm. The first lesson you learn from me, if you want to survive here, is keep your mouth shut. Damn. Rules have been set. You do not talk about them. Cool lighting. They do a really good job of the lighting in this. Like in the beginning, yeah. it was a lot of warmth, sunlight, warm tones, and now it's like these colors. All right, clearly, I feel like Miles Teller has a thing for her, but obviously, we know there's most likely going to be a romantic spark between her, and Tristan, four. and four. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to work a triangle uh, angle. I don't know. Yeah. He's Miles has been too much of well, a jerk. She, well, she already saw him being a bully to yeah, the people in line. And, I agree. And he was also coming off with very sexist, misogynistic lines to her right. with the taking off of the clothes. But I'm curious if they're going to go with the triangle angle. You're going to be sleeping here for the next 10 weeks. Looks comfy. Girls or boys? Both. Both. That works. If you like this, you're going to love the bathroom. Who asked you to be so nosy? I love his voice. He has like a kind of a little accent. Also, he's got a soft tone, but it's very authoritative. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. No other area? The open bathroom, though, kills me. I would never poop again. <laughs> you guys, I'd be so clogged it, up that I'd be like, I can't jump. I can't fight. Well, I can't it, even it, cry. It I'm would, so constipated. It would definitely force you to eat extremely healthy <laughs> to oh the point of you God. don't have to go to the number two again. So you just squirt it right out. Oh, get rid of the old clothes. See ya. Those are my stiff clothes. Can't keep them as a memento. Huh. It's so interesting seeing the contrast of stiff life and yeah. dauntless life. I like how they add in the neon lighting, the colors, the red, the teal. But it makes it seem more clubby like. But also so for Tris, like from her vantage point, like this is such a whole new world for yeah. her. That looks pretty good. Have you never seen a hamburger before? 
that I it actually wonder if does the director had any of those burgers. Right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Bad joke. Abnegation, eat plain food, a plant based diet with no sauces and a minimum of seasoning. Which textbook did you swallow? Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> I'm well erudite. No offense, but I'm surprised abnegation even eats at all. You gotta be pretty self confident to be friends with a candor. What is that supposed to mean? You have no filter. You say the first thing that comes into your head. You mean like you're an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> At least we tell the truth. Erudite can tell the truth because we have the facts. I don't want to hear about your own fractions. You don't let us know. Damn. Were you a transfer too, or dauntless born? What makes you think you can talk to me? Oh my god. Damn. He's nice. <laughs> Rude. It must be because you're so approachable. <laughs> Good one, Tris. You know he was first in his class. They tried to recruit him for leadership twice, but he said no. All right, let's go. Ah, Mackay Pfeiffer. I haven't seen him in a while. You have chosen to join the warrior faction, tasked with the defense of this city and all its inhabitants. Mm. We believe in ordinary acts of bravery, in the courage that drives one person to stand up for another. Respect that. Do us proud. I'm wondering if this is a dumb question, but you know how on her aptitude test it came back as dauntless? Right. So there's these other people who are in other factions. Did their aptitude test also come back as like divert daunt as dauntless? Yeah. Or I assume like well, because they say they all have the power to choose. Yeah. I assume most of them probably came back dauntless, but hers came back three dauntless, erudite, and abnegation. Mm. I want everyone in the pit. Two minutes. Oof. There are two stages of training. The first is physical. Push your bodies to the breaking point and you'll master the methods of combat. The second is mental. Mental. You'll face your worst fears and conquer them unless they get you first. Hmm. After initiations, rankings will determine what jobs you move into. Leadership, guarding the fence, or keeping the factionists from killing each other. Oh. At the end of each stage of training, the lowest ranking initiates will be leaving us. That sucks. There's no going home to your family, so you'd live factionless. Ooh. ooh. Yikes. Somebody should have told us Why? that. Would you have chosen differently? I mean, if that's the case, you might as well get out now. If you're really one of us, it won't matter to you that you might fail. Right? You chose us. Huh. Now we get to choose you. Okay. This is like a reality TV show. That <laughs> is actually, yeah. Whoa, God. Oh. Come on, girl. Statistically speaking, you should have hit the target at least once by now. But what if she was aiming for what she hit? I mean, there's a big orange target in front of her, Andrew. I know, but <laughs> I'm trying to come to her defense. I know. Factionless. Not doing anything. Check it out, Stiff. That's going to be your new family. Boy, he's such a lovable he's such character. A jerk. I like that she never, so far, has not stooped to his level. Right. First jumper in the ring. Last jumper. Time to fight. Ooh, girl against girl. How long do we fight for? Till one of you can't continue. Or one of you concedes. According to the old rule. The new rules, no one concedes. You really want to lose them on their first fight? A oh, brave man never surrenders. Lucky for you, those winter rules when we fight. Oh, Ooh. Clearly there's some tension between these two. Yeah. Oh my god. I'd be like, I'm gonna have to bite, I'm gonna have to scratch, throw some punches, here in the grind. Ah! That's a concede, uh, right? But there is no conceding. Go back to that time in your head. Let's you go. grab the dog. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, I felt that. Whoa. Dude, this is very visceral. Oh. Whoa. Dang. You know what the sport is? It's your life. Trust is at the bottom. We grade you every day. If you're still in the red by the end of the first stage, you're out. I'm never going to make it. I have a feeling she's not going to be in the red. She's the star of the movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> if they cut me, I think my parents would take me back. No, it doesn't work like that. Even if they wanted to, their fashion wouldn't allow it. That sucks. You know what we should do? Get tattoos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. You like it? Yeah. Where would you get it? I don't know. What do you suggest? Anything you want. Get the Tyson on the face. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> it's like, you should have listened. Truth. You should have listened to me. I was, I was just wondering if you could know. I just do tattoos. It's like, why does no one want to talk to me in this place? Well, I think for her, she's like, no, no, you no, are I, a rarity. No, 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 I know. I was yeah. Just... I'd like this one, please. 
It's like, now I, you're going to have to talk to me, biatch. I will make this as painful as possible. You made a mistake choosing Dauntless. If you don't fit into a category, they can't control you. I'm Dauntless. I'm going to be Dauntless. I chose Dauntless. I hope so. Whoa. That's a cool tattoo. It seems painless. Yeah, I was just about to say, was it painful or painless? Because it seemed like you said painless. That's always been my fear of getting one. It's, I, I just don't do well with pain. Yeah. I like I, I like that she chose birds because there's a freedom in that. And I think she has like so much freedom to kind of That's good. be all of the people yeah. that she actually oh, is. Good symbolism you picked up on for sure. Damn. Yeah, she's girl. Getting, she's getting it. She's going to make it to the top. Get it. Hard work. Where is she at? 26. Oh, number 26. It's an interesting style. Oh, jeez. Ouch. Oh, does she have the wrong form? You're never going to win. Not like that. It's good to know. Yep, you have to use your whole body. Keep tension here. Hey. Ooh. You're fast, so you could win if you attack first. You get inside, you jam to the throat. Four. Damn, teaching her to be ruthless. Keep working. Which I guess, yeah, you have to be. She's like, all I'm thinking about is how your hands were on my waist. They do have pretty good chemistry with each other. Yeah. Casting in this is great. I'm telling the sound design on the 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 comb yeah. hand to hand Very combat. Very realistic. Is, yeah. No, you feel the the blows. <laughs> You can't concede. You need to stop? Okay. You're out. You give your hand. He's going to hit her. All right, let's everyone take a break. I think he's throwing her out. Oh, God. What's going on there? Oh, no. Is he going to throw her out? Like. <laughs> Grab the rail. <laughs> Oof. You got three options. Hang there and I'll forget your cowardice. Fall and die or give up. But if you give up, you're out. Jesus. Come on. Time. Whew. That got me in a tense panic. Dauntless, never give up. This aren't is some CIA training. I was going to say, aren't you glad you chose Dauntless? As Dauntless, we fight to protect every life inside the fence without fail. That's why we train you the way we do. To teach you not to give up. This is like the... Never give up, never surrender. The army, the navy, the marines. It's like, it's all just all like boot one. camp status. Yeah. If they're the protectors of everything, I mean, yep. I, I... Can't give up. I, I get it. Um, oh, the farmers. It's out there. Amity farms. Beyond that. Places that never recovered from the war. Oh, I was curious about that. Do you know? Let's just say they built the fence for a reason. Okay. That's where the Divergent go. My God, I can't wait till she has to, like, run around deserted Chicago. <laughs> nice. Yes. Oh, that's not very good. That was pathetic. Uh, that was pretty bad. Not going to lie. It slipped. Well, go get it. Oh, God. What while they're throwing? Are you afraid? We're getting stabbed by an airborne knife, yeah. Everybody stop. Stand in front of the target. Oh, this feels like Starship Troopers right now. Y'all know what I'm, which scene I'm talking about, clearly. Or just like back in the day at the circus where they're like, look at this trick. Can I get a volunteer? You're going to stand there while he throws those knives. And if I see you flinch, you're out. You're out. Oh, Jesus. One thing you will learn here is that orders are not optional. I don't like his chances, Tara. I love his chances because the four knows where he's aiming. No, I understand. I'm yeah. saying not to flinch, oh, though. Oh, right. I don't think he's going to hit him. I mean, I'd be like, am I allowed to close my eyes? Stop. Anyone can stand in front of a target. It doesn't prove anything. Then it should be easy for you to take his place. Okay, I like her chances. You can get closer than that. I I can't praise the sound design enough on this. You want me to give her a little trim? Yeah, maybe just a little off the top. I want to see a POV view from her. Whoa! Oh my! 
Oh! Whoa! Oh, we got a points for bravery, Stiff. Not as many as you just lost for opening your mouth. You know what? She stood up for him. I agree with you for sure, but he was trying to teach the other guy a lesson. But I totally, right. I totally agree with you. Yeah. But the other guy, I mean, he's not going to survive with his mentality is right. what he's trying to teach. Like, yeah. You cut me. I meant to. I think he was going to let you off without a scratch. I'd still be standing there if I hadn't hit you. So am I supposed to thank you? You're supposed to be smart. If I wanted to hurt you, I would have. There's a cut on my ear that says you did. The casting and the chemistry in this is really good. And no one no one is doing any overacting. I yeah. like how they all are underplaying it, like very well, real. I also like, too, there's drama. I mean, they're not officially a couple, but there's drama in their relationship, too. Or possible relationship. Hey, you're famous now. I mean, not because of the, the thing with Eric. Yeah, you're in the news. The recent transfers of Beatrice and Caleb Pryor call into question the soundness of abnegation's teachings and values. What prompted them to leave? This guy's the biggest dick. The theft of resources, the general incompetence, the abuse of their children. Did they beat you like Marcus Eaton's kid? Who started those rumors? They didn't beat anyone. They're good people. That's why you left? Is it something I said? Did she just, like, punch him? She don't know any explanation to you, jerk face. I mean, he plays it really well, but... I feel like she started the rumor. You're Andrew Pryor's daughter, aren't you? Beatrice. That's just Tris. You made an impressive choice, Tris, despite your parents and your test result. Okay, it was definitely her. You've seen my test result? Of course. I'm glad you were smart enough to know your own mind. Let me know if you ever need anything. Okay, Kate. I don't know about you, Tara, but I don't trust her. No, I mean... She definitely probably... But they're hunting divergence. That's all they talk about every day these days. Oh, my goodness. Hey. She would have been af after her. If she... And like, she really knows good. that she's a divergent, but she yeah. chose Dauntless. That's very interesting, that oh. they hunt the divergence. Peter versus Tris. Beat him up. Come on. First shot, right to the throat, and you watch him. He steps before he punches. Put your hands on my waist again. Show me. Yeah. Thanks for the advice, Four. <laughs> Ooh! Nice! Yeah! Yeah, girl, get it. Yes, 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 yes! Oh, God. Okay. Cutting off her hair? I think it's a flashback with her uh, mom. Oh. I'm loving this music by Junkie XL and Hans Zimmer, though. It's like she's shedding a part of her past. Why are you wearing those vests? Because they made it. War games. I'm coming. You can't. Eric says you're done. What? He said you were out. Oh. Okay. Now she has to live a true divergent life. We gotta go. We're going to miss the train. I like this. Now we know that Kate is going to come after her and they're going to hunt her. And we'll have to see how she responds. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Is she going to, like, catch up? Hey, girl. Yeah. Way to go for. Is she allowed to still be back if they said she's out? Or? I don't. Okay. I guess we're going to find out. Maybe no one else has ever tried to do it. Who let you out? I did. You did. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. The game's simple. It's like capture the flag. I like that game. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Neuro stim dart. Um, okay. Ow. Simulates the pain of a real gunshot wound. Oh. Two teams, four and our captains. You pick first. Edward. I'll take the stiff. I'm picking the weak ones. You got someone to blame and you lose. <laughs> I love, oh my god, I love these sets. Yeah. Like the way this looks is great. And the cinematography, these is, high scoping shots. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Very cinematic. Whoa. It sets the flag. Okay, what's your strategy? Uh, we can hide the flag well enough so they can't find it. Just send out a team to scout the location, see if we can find their flag. I say we blitz them. Just beat them with sheer force. Yeah, that's the best way to lose quickly. No, come, to us. come on, give the strategy, Tris. Decision. She's just going to do it. Go up above and try to scout. You're not going to jump, are you? No, I'm just trying to get a good vantage point. 
strategic. We should go easy. You took a beating. Surprise, you noticed. Saw you leave during the fight. Yeah, well, that's something I wanted to watch. Okay. Why? Because you love her? <laughs> oh! You good? I am now. If you keep your hands there, I will continue to be. This is high enough. No, we need to go higher. You're afraid of heights. Everyone's afraid of something. Tara's very perceptive. I didn't think you were afraid of anything. <sighs> well, that's what being dauntless is, facing your fears. Yep. <laughs> Literally. Come on, Tris. <laughs> Damn. Okay, girl, get it. They're doing a good job of convincing me this is not green screen, and they are really up there. Right. I agree. Maybe that has to do with shading yeah, and the lighting. Yeah, yeah But it course. does look very, you know, obviously realistic. Yeah. Now, if this were Tom Cruise, you know he'd be up there. Yeah. Not, not to, I know I mentioned him earlier, but. This isn't so bad. Come with crazy stunt work, you got to mention Tom. Yeah. Look. <laughs> there it is. I would literally be having a panic attack up there right now because really? I'm so afraid of yeah. heights. I'll go up the side and make the rest of you engage Eric. And this is why I wouldn't be dauntless. Nah. Light him up. Oh, snap. Oh, boy. Haha, no, no, no. oh, no. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh. Tell me if this hurts. You tell me. Yeah! yeah! See you later, jerk face! You're down for yeah. two minutes, four minutes now. Sh should have shot him in the nuts. <laughs> that was so satisfying. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. Damn, four is a badass. Ooh. Yes! Yes! It simulates a gunshot for a couple of minutes. Damn, that's gotta be so painful. Yeah. For that couple minutes. Luckily, it's only two minutes. Yeah, but yeah, still. yeah. I think there's some like relief knowing, like in a couple minutes, I'm good. <laughs> oh dang it, you're out. Now all you right. gotta fight this girl. That's like round the best two. fighter. Round two for her. It's all right. You've grown a lot, Tris. Woo! You get her. Yes. <laughs> Woohoo! Look at her go. Those flags are so sick. They're awesome. Like, I want one of those. Seriously. Yeah. Come with us. Shortcut back. Little initiation ritual. Dauntless style. Oh, someone's falling for her. Whoa. Wow. Is that the Sears Tower? <laughs> I think so. Maybe. Let us know in the comments if that's the Sears Tower. Or are they on the Sears Tower? That's a great shot. This is a great, very cool. I think they might be on. Oh, my God. It's Hell no. Oh my God, that is so high. And you have to be looking. Ah! <laughs> as fun as it looks to watch, yeah, hell no, no for me. That's a hell no so for me. It's so scary. That's a hell no for me. But then again, she did jump so high into the unknown. And right now, you know, those straps got you and you won't fall. But that is still scary as hell. Oh my God, I'd be like, hand it to me. It's all the way in the back. Oh my God, I can't. No. <laughs> I'd be like, show me where the break is again. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> this, like, now that she's in it, it seems like, yeah, it seems like she's, she's like flying. The she's like a bird. Oh God, that's super close to. She's, well, she's like that bird that she's got, those yeah, birds that she's got tattooed. Absolutely. She's flying she feels to freedom. Free. All right, hit that brake. Oh my God, grab the brake. Oh God. This is nauseating. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh my God. Holy shite. The brake's behind you. I know, I'm like, Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is it behind them? I hate it. Oh my god. Oh, my that heart is resume beating. Was a journey. They're doing such a great job in this movie of making us feel like we're actually there. Yeah. I like how, too, she's making him kind of come out of his shell and yeah. be more approachable. 
Well, he sees a lot of qualities in her that he has himself. Yeah. You know, I wanted to say that you were really good tonight. You were brave. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> okay. If you're ranked above the red line, you'll move on to the second stage of training. If you're below it, we'll waste no more time on you. Here are your rankings. I got to imagine she moved up after that capture the flag. <laughs> Damn, that sucks for the people who have to go factionless now. Yeah. So we passed the first stage of training, and this is our reward. Toss it up. Better than being factionless, right? <laughs> what is that? Is that four back there? Who is it? What if it's her family, like her brother or something? Did her brother choose er erudite? I forgot. Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, it's her mom. Oh. I was not expecting that. Mom, what are you doing here? I knew they'd assign you here sooner or later. Look at you. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. I have to ask you something. You weren't sick the day you took your aptitude test, were you? <laughs> what were your test results? They were inconclusive. Divergence. <laughs> Can't tell anyone. People have always been so threatened by divergence. You don't conform. Your mind works in a million different ways. They, they're scared of you. Mm. Stage two of training is where you are most at risk. They're going to get inside your head and watch how you respond to fear. You can pass. You can make it through Dauntless. I have seen it before. How do you know so much about this? Is she also a divergent? Her mom? Are you Dauntless? Listen. What are you doing? Truck's loaded. Let's go. I guess, yeah, she, I don't know if her mom was divergent, but I guess maybe she was Dauntless before. Sounds like it. Yeah. But how did she get into... Maybe she's uh, born into it and chose abnegation. Wait, is that the the one that was like really good? The really good fighter. Oh, because they get into her mind. This is stage two. Yeah. The mental portion. Oh, God. Oh, oh here we go. We're going to do the trance again? Again with the weird chair and the shot. Your favorite shot in the whole film with yeah. the mirror. I'm going to inject you with a serum that stimulates part of your brain that processes fear. Now, what's he going to do when he sees the info? Because he likes her. Right. Induces a hallucination, and then transmitters in the serum allow me to see the images in your mind. Mm -mm. Now you're going to be facing your worst fears, Tris. Most people have 10 to 15 really bad ones. That's it? Ah, <laughs> oh, this is the opening shot. It's stormy now. Ah. This is real. That's right. Control your mind. <sighs> How long do you think you end the hallucination, Tris? 20 minutes. Three, four times faster than the average. I've seen anyone do that well the first time. Wow. How'd you get rid of the birds? The image wasn't clear. I just went into the water. Next time, it'll be a lot easier. I have to do that again? Yeah, you have to practice several times before the final, but... Oh, come on, no one even came close to your time. You were amazing. Yeah, what's amazing is that she's going to knock you right out of Dauntless. She's not going to knock me out of Dauntless. Look, she's gone from being the worst to one of the best. Somebody's got to take her place at the bottom. Who's it going to be? <laughs> oh my God, this guy won't stop. But he's good at peak at dick, yeah. though, as an actor. <laughs> what's he talking about? Is there some way to make it easier? No, I'm, I'm not doing anything. Don't hold back on us. You're a divergent. I take back what I said about the love possible love triangle. Go. Right, with Miles, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't see that anymore at all. Oh, is this her worst fear? Another hallucination oh, now? Yeah. Okay, this is interesting. It's not real. Right, like if you just, I guess, give in to it? This isn't real. Is that the trick, just say that? That's a cool effect. Yeah. Whoa. Awesome. What was her time this time? Uh, he's going to be like 15 seconds. How'd you break the glass? You're cheating. I don't know. I just did it. You just did it? <laughs> what were your test results? Don't tell him. Abnegation. I don't think so. I think you're lying to me. Just so you know, Dauntless don't break the glass like that. Oh. Who does? Divergence only. Dauntless leadership. You can't let them find out about you. And what if they already know? Then you're already dead. Oof. 
Is it just because she threatens their way of life just yeah. in general with choice and all that? I and think so. And I think it's because she's good at a bunch of different factions. She doesn't fit into one specific. Right. Kind of like we were saying, it's almost like she's a demigod and they have to like kill those off. I'm in trouble. What happened? I'm not going to make it at Dallas. I don't fit in there. You have to fit in there. I can't. I'm just, I'm not like them. And who is? They're crazy. Yeah. It's what all the other factions want now that abnegation failed. No, that's just what they're telling you it's here. It's true. It's not true. There are liars here. There are people who know how to manipulate you. Mm. I think you should go. Faction before blood. Got it. That hit me deep. <laughs> Damn. I need you to come with me. Ooh. Yes, girl. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> huh. Now I'm like, well, it's good that her brother is in the erudite thing because they haunt di haunt. They track down hunt divergence. They probably also haunt them. Are you happy with your new faction? Yeah. But you came to see your brother. I just I just wanted to talk to him. Have you seen your parents? No. Faction before blood. It's an important ideal. Human nature is the enemy. It's human nature to keep secret. And I want to eradicate that. You're aware that abnegation is undermining the faction system. They're breaking laws. See, I need to know that I can count on you to enforce the law. Even if it's been broken by someone close to you. She's setting her up to stop her parents. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Don't throw her. How is she going to get out of it? Get her over. She... Is it Miles Teller? Come on, turn. No. Oh, what my God. Doing? It's her own crew. They have to. Wow. All right, four. Yes. Woo! Please don't let it be one of them is not Zoe. They're uh, they all look like dudes. You right? I guess now she knows she can trust him. Yeah. I was not expecting it to be one of her close friends. That's wow. Yeah. The film's got some twists. Yeah, put this on. Really thought when she pulled it off it was gonna be Miles Teller. Yeah. That would have been the obvious choice. You're moving up through the ranks and he's failing. It makes him hate himself and it makes him hate you. He's just afraid. Jesus. Everyone's afraid. I know, but fear does something strange to people like Al. Huh. You should lie down. In my bed. Get some sleep. I'll take the floor. Damn, what a gentleman. Saves her and then he says, you can have the bed, I'll have the floor. Loving it. My brother said that he thinks Erudite is planning to overthrow abnegation. Do you think they could do that? Yeah, I do. I think it's possible. Depends how far they're willing to go. What about my parents? Well, again, in her brother's eyes, it's a faction over blood. I think you got other things you need to worry about, don't you? He knows. I love that he knows, but he's not telling anyone because he's in love with her. But he's giving her the choice to tell him because he's showing, like, I care about you, but you can trust me. Right. But it's your place to tell me, not me to tell you that I know. Yeah. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. Lisa, can you ever forgive me? I'm sorry? If you ever come close to me again, I will kill you. Yeah. I'm sorry. I almost... Yeah, like, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. That's what you say after, like, a bad meeting. Yeah. Did he off himself? Oh, he killed himself? Oh. Oh, my God. I had a feeling. Yes, he just jumped. Jesus. She's going to feel some sense of responsibility. She said it's not your fault. No, it's not, but you know she is. She's going to feel like... It's my fault that he's dead. No, it's not because of you. You're... He would have been fashionless. He was not going to pass that final test. Neither am I. Why do you say that? You know why. Yeah, you know who I am. Mm. And as soon as all the others find out, they're going to kill me. I'm not going to let that happen. Oh, love this protective nature over her. You're going to practice. In my fair landscape? In mine. We're going together. Wow. Okay. I really like this hit him a lot. He's stoic, but super brave. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you haven't told me anything about yourself, and now you just want to let me inside of your head. Are you afraid of that? You're not? No. Oh. I'm very curious about his backstory. Like, yeah. what faction did he originally... I bet you he was abnegation born, maybe. Mm. And that's why he can really maybe relate to her and wants to help her shit what if he's also a divergent, divergent? I was, and he's been not i was he's thinking been that, like a mole all along i was kind thinking of. that but how did he get yeah by the, the i feel like, try, like that's probably not that's, it but that's the only thing i was wondering if he is like how did he get by but just say this is not real that's been the magic words every time yeah jesus why does it have to oh his fear is heights Right. It's not real. We could just jump. No, the virgin would jump. Dauntless would get to that building. Okay. If you want to avoid discovery, you have to do everything the way a Dauntless would do it. You have to find some tool, some method to survive. Yeah. Just like 
Ah, my fear of heights is coming true uh -huh. too. Is that wall closing in on him? You have to find a way of stopping it. What would Adonis do? Good. I think you're dying. I'm just enjoying myself in this shrinking box. Uh -huh. Nice. Ooh, all snuggled up. Oh, okay. Who is she? She's an innocent. I have to kill her. Jeez. But I can never do it unless I look away. Why are we in abnegation? Your last fear is your worst fear. It lives in the deepest part of your mind. You might be right. That's where he originally was from. Because mm -hmm. that was kind of her worst fear, too, is staying there. Ray oh. Stevenson was his father? Marcus had a son. Oh. Tobias. Tobias. Damn, that's a twist. Remember, we heard the rumors of the son and that... beating him and stuff like like he was like. Oh shit! Uh. Oh, that was real. He did beat him. Yeah. No. Shit. Ooh. Okay, so he was a stiff. Love to. I always said I wonder about his backstory, and then we get into it with the yeah, like thank you movie for answering that. <laughs> Four fears. Four then, four now. I keep going in there, but I don't think you're ever losing them. Yeah, I want to see his tattoo. What's your tattoo? Ah. Did you read the script before <laughs> we got here? <laughs> you want to see it? Yes. Tara does. Show her. Take off your shirt, sir. It's time. It's amazing. Oh. He's a divergent. If all those are on his back. Right. That's three, right? How do you evolve them? I don't want to be just one thing. I want to be brave, and I want to be selfless, intelligent, and honest. They're very similar. <laughs> ha 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 ha. She's like, damn it, what's taking you so long to do that? Hey, baby. They really do have extremely Great good chemistry. chemistry on screen. I'm glad they didn't rush into that, and they took their time with mm -hmm. that. Like, it's been, they do build, really... it's been building up. Yeah. They do a great job in this movie of taking time with shots, taking time with characters, and, and letting moments building. breathe. Yeah. I don't want to go too far. It's okay. I already got my spot on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I was going to say, we're an hour and a half in the movie. It's not too fast. <laughs> God, I'm still ringing about that twist with uh, Ray Stevenson. Yeah. That was incredible. He had a tough, tough childhood. Mm. Which is probably why maybe he struggles with being kind. I mean, yeah. I can imagine growing up in that environment would be very difficult. Are you tight? Yeah, they're here every morning. I've been watching them for weeks. What are they doing at Dauntless? Loading in supplies, computers, and these. What is it? I think it's some kind of cognitive transmitter. You inject it like a serum. Jeez. As many as they have, they could create an army. Ooh. Whoa. See, that's why they want to kill off all the Divergent. You have to fit in their little freaking box. Yeah. Well, you mean Kate Winslet even said, you know, human... Uh, nature is nature, not the right it, way. It's, it's the enemy. Yeah. That's why I'm curious. She said she saw her test result. Like, did she? Uh, but I thought maybe Hugh deleted it. So you're ready. You can do this. I think because she's like the head of the thing, she probably just knows deep down that she's a divergent. Yeah, but, but if she deep down knows that, why is she still alive? Right. Why did she not kill her yet? Yeah. Yeah, we don't. I feel like any divergent she would get rid of right away. Maybe that's what this plan is. We can see your hallucinations on the screen. So you get past your fears the way a Dallas would, but do it quickly. Right. Right. So don't do it the way a divergent right. would. If I'm too good, then they'll kill me. And if I'm too slow, then I'll die. Jeez. Oh my God. That okay. is That is so tough. This care, but what I love about this character, she's got so many different obstacles physically and mentally, and she's always finding barriers to get through them. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right. So we got some birds coming oh, in. Oh, this has got to be the crow stuff again. Oh, right? yeah, the, the crows, mud. right. The crows in the mud. All right. Got to do a brave the way a, a Yeah, the would. way, like, because the birds maybe won't cross the... Oh, yeah, that's smart. She's a dauntless. Oh, right, find a tool, he said, and then... She's a dauntless. Oh, damn. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Cool. Okay, but okay. she can't do the tapping glass. She cannot tap. 
So what can we do? Oh, plug like the hole? Take off your clothes and plug the hole. Hey, you might Take be right. Take off your clothes, girl. You might be plug right. Plug that hole, girl. Get it. There we go. Yes. Well, at least we know Tara could be a Dauntless. <laughs> yeah. Remember, I was like, I think I'd be Dauntless. I just don't know if I would be strong, like strong, strong enough. And the fear thing, I don't know, but maybe I would. Congratulations. Oh my God, are they all watching this though? That's what I'm wondering. Shit. Oh, whoa, this is... Okay, I would imagine they are wanting watch this. Yeah, to see what she does. Nice. Hell yeah, girl. Damn, that is impressive. To hide the fact you're divergent. You did well. Now, one final test. Oh, She has no. to kill him. Or her brother, or her mom, or her dad, or something. Oh my god, I knew it. Jesus. Shit. If you want to be dauntless, no, do it. Faction over family. But this, she's is, just like, but this is, I think, still in her mind. I don't think this right. is real. Look away. You're right. It all look good to me, okay? Let's go. Congratulations. Yeah. Wow. I think when she, when she realized it was in her mind. Before you leave tonight, I want you all in four line. Everyone gets a tracking device. Oh, no. Don't ask questions, just a precaution. It's that stuff they were talking about makes them more susceptible. Right. More docile, probably. Yeah, and I wonder. Do you see four? Like, yeah, where is four? Yeah, he probably was like, I don't want this. Does she get out of it or is she? You should be first in line, but uh, I'll make it easy for you. No, no, sir. <gasps> or is she strong enough to fight against it? Yeah. Good Maybe point. it won't work on her because she's divergent. But where is four? Yeah. Uh-oh, she's not. Okay. I'm worried about four. Looks like it's affecting everyone else already. Yeah, but because she's a divergent, are they like, we now have to get rid of her because we sense it? They're, they're literally like soldiers. Yeah. Like zombie soldiers. This is why you can't let the er er erudite? Erudites, yeah. yeah. They can see and hear us. They just don't process it the same way. The commands come in through the transmitter. I can't believe the Dauntless would be okay with them being in charge like this. This is... Sure, like, you're supposed to be protective over... What's going on? What are we doing? Is he a diver... I... Divergent. Oh, I just... That's what I was just wondering. She was trained right by four, and he was not. Everything's fine. There's nothing to worry about. Shit. Now she's got to act like a zombie soldier. Yep. Jesus. But because of her her instincts, right? It's Do like, you think they're going to use these zombies to wipe out the, the uh, stiffs? Yeah, for sure. How is she going to stop this? She's just one. Pr I know she's tough and all, but right. she's just one. Oh, there's four. Be careful. She's doing a good job with the ruse. Oh. Okay. Thank God. Whew. Oh. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. Okay, I guess they can stop them together, but I, I, I'm so... I'm interested to see how they stop a zombie uh, Dauntless crew. Jesus. Huh. I wonder if because he had that serum, an example of it, if there's a way to make like uh, an anti, like a vaccine. That's probably not what they're gonna do, right? Like to vaccinate all of them so they stop being zombies, but like, I mean, this, shit. this is insane. This is so draconian. Mm-hmm. What the erudites are doing. Oh my God, they have to kill kids. This is why you can't give power like this. You need to find my parents. Wonder if he what he's gonna do when he finds his dad. Yeah. Cause his dad's part of the stiff, so I mean, curious. Mom? Are they hiding? What are we doing? I don't know. She knows the hiding place. Come on, you know it. Well, her mom did tell her like something was up, so Yeah. I think they knew something was gonna happen. Legendary four. Mindless drone. You were first in your class, now you're nothing. 
Please don't figure it out. Or if he does, Triss is going to have to kill them both. I think he might be. That's one way to find out. Say goodbye, asshole. Goodbye. Moving you down. The stiff? Nice. Two stiffs. Two dead stiffs. You can't let a single divergence slip through. This is what happens. She's not going to shoot me. I think he might be overestimating my character. Whoa. Nice. Whoa. Come on, headshot. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. Dang it. Drop your weapon. Okay. Bias eaten from you, Beatrice. I thought it was intellect I was sensing in you. <laughs> Why are you attacking all these innocent people? Innocent people? Abnegation, if left unchecked, will destroy the faction system. You are so evil. Somebody has to stop you. If we don't, peace will be lost. It's already been lost. You destroyed it. Human nature destroyed it. This is... Those of us with the vision to see that are called upon to protect the rest. We will restore the peace, and this time it will last. And what if you're wrong? Bring him with us. <laughs> She's injured. Rude. The results would be unclear. You can get rid of her. All right. Whoa. All right, all right, okay. Okay. I'm trying to think, I haven't really seen Kate Winslet in a villain role? Uh, like, me neither. She plays a very good detective in Maritown, which is not a villain. I've, I've, she I've does never, a good, I've, strong... I've, I've never seen that. It's one of my favorite shows. But Only one doing, season, and I don't good, know why. She's doing a good job in this, though. Yep. I hate her guts. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be cool if Miles Teller saved him, but he's a mindless drone, so I'd uh, maybe her parents. Oh, is she gonna jump? Oh, maybe it's like... Um, or does she have divergent power? I don't know. Is it still like it's... Mom and dad? Miles Teller? I don't know. Maybe your bro- Hey, mom yeah. and dad! Yes! Okay. Yes! Yes, never leave a weapon behind. Take all of their guns. Well, it's actually- Yes! Yeah. You know that's my pet peeve and they did it and I love this movie. Yeah. You were dauntless. It served me well today. Is dad okay? Yeah, he led a group over to Monroe and State. We're going to meet him there. Wow. Love it. But we have to go save four. Oh, please. Don't let anything happen to mom. I can't. No, it's... Woohoo! She's been working on her target nice. practice. She sure has. Is that her friend? That's her friend, yeah. Oh, man. This is doing the well, test. Yeah. Fraction over blood, but nope, blood over fraction. Oh. No. Oh, can she break him out of it? How? Oh man. Sorry, Will. She tried. What's she gonna do if Zoe Kravitz is? I killed him. I killed him. Come here. Damn. Cover me. No, I'll go. You know she's gonna come up on Zoe Kravitz at some point. Yeah. Ugh. Shoot, girl, you better. Dang it. Go run and pick up another gun. <laughs> I know, right? Nice. You okay? Oh, no, okay. no, no. What happened? Dang, her mom was good, 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 good. Love that. Love that move. Let's go. Where did her mom get shot? Oh, no. Dang it. We felt, we knew this was going to. Yeah. Shailene Woodley does a great, great job, always has, getting emotional and making it believable. She's just really good. Where's my mother? Beatrice? Oh, your mother? She saved me. I must have We need to leave here. Other soldiers outside. No, it's clear. I should have believed you. <laughs> Why is this happening? I don't understand. Why are Dauntless fighting for Aerie Day? They don't know what they're doing. They're in a simulation. I need to wake them up. I need to get into Dauntless. It's a fortress. It's not gonna happen. I can get us in there. Yeah, you can, girl. Yes. Love taking these weapons, guys. This is feeding my soul. I, I know the writers. They heard Tara in the background. They did. They're like, I don't want to upset Tara. You better Let's not. Jump. I got good ideas. Yes. Oh my oh, god. Oh, she's teaching them all how to be dauntless. They're all dauntless now. Yes. Well, maybe they're all five combined. I love it. Don't think, just jump. 
Yeah. Damn, they really are all dauntless now. I love this. You good? Good? <laughs> Been a douche all movie. Sorry, buddy. Against the wall. Is he under the mindless control? It doesn't seem like Can't it. Can't tell. How are you awake? Because I'm smarter than you and they need me. Where are they controlling it from? What would I tell you that? It's not like you're going to shoot me. Why do people keep saying that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love this movie. Where are they controlling it from? I really thought they were going to go the redemption arc with him, but I guess not. Or maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah, because I don't think he's dead. Every minute we waste, another abnegation dies and another Dauntless becomes a murderer. Peter, let's go. You get it, Tris. Damn. Must be in so much pain. <laughs> I mean, she got shot too, but it was more a flesh wound on the shoulder, so. I've seen Janine go in there. Like you said, there's no second twice. All right, nothing can happen to the dad, Tara. <laughs> well, I think he's going to sacrifice to get... Maybe not. Maybe he's going to do it. Get it, get it, get it. Nice. Please tell me he didn't get shot. Please, please, please. Dang it. I think he could tell, taking the gun away from her, that his daughter was going to succeed, and he had to sacrifice himself for, like, the bigger picture. This is so savage and insane. Oh. oh okay. Is he mindless drone now? Yeah, yeah. Mm. He didn't even say anything to her. That's why. You're in a sim. He can't hear you. Everything we think of, it makes up a person, thoughts, emotions, all wiped away by chemistry. He's gone, and we're all safer for it. Maybe if he sees the dad, that'll trigger him. The faction system is the conformity to the faction removes the threat of anyone exercising their independent will. Divergence threaten that system. This isn't real. I mean, it is, but like for him and his mind... Wow. Nice! Oh. How do you break him out of it? Show him his tattoo on his back? Hit him in the throat like he taught you. Oh, right. Yeah, that's, that's true. Oh, yeah, throw that knife, girl. You good at it. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. Oh, nice. Just break everything. I don't know. I admire you willing to die for what you believe. So am I. But so am I. You can't do it, can you? Oh no, little kids, Jesus. What are you gonna do here? Oh, is she gonna put it in the mind control in her? I guess so, but Caitlin. like, and then tell her to turn it off. Yeah, that's what I'm right? saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe you're not quite as dauntless as you thought you were. You're right, I'm not. I'm divergent. Huh? Yeah, that's what I had feeling. Hey baby. Shut it off. Now shut it down and wipe the program. Nice. Yes, ma'am. Ha! Using your own thing against you. That was smart. You see her change, right? Oh, yes. And uh, Jai Courtney and Mackay Pfeiffer, they need to be held in a prison for what they did, too. Because they were okay with this choice. Without the mindless drone stuff. No! Oh, so it's just... It, it oh, wait, be, away. oh, because she because shut it she down. Because she shut it down yeah. <laughs> completely. So that makes sense. I was like, it didn't last very long, but yeah, now it makes sense. <laughs> There's a certain beauty to your resistance. Well, is it going to work anymore? It's... Oh. That's for not making room when on the door for Jack. We gotta go. Now, Tobias. <laughs> It's 
being mature about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Miles Teller Miles. seems to be doing okay for being shot. Yeah. I guess they are going the redemption arc for his character. Yep. Come on, do it. Of you're the course. bigger you're he, the bigger he's man. Definitely gonna do it. You're the bigger yeah. man. Yeah. Again, I don't condone what the dad ever did. It was awful, but he is the bigger man. A lot of died today. What'd you say? A lot died today? Oh. They're gone. I know. They loved you, Tris. For them there was no better way to show you. I agree. I don't even know who I am anymore. I know exactly who you are. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm very sure. I love right here, it switches to that warm light that we saw in the beginning of safety with her family and now safety with her. Yeah. I wonder what's going to happen with all the other Dauntless who were, like, now their minds are clear. We're like the factionless now. We've left everything behind. But we found ourselves and each other. Tomorrow we may have to fight again. But for now, we'll ride the train to the end of the line. And then we'll jump. Hmm. This is such a cliffhanger ending to a sequel. Because I know there is a sequel. There is? Yeah. We are watching it. You yeah. guys better like the crap out of this yeah. reaction. You better share it. Insurgents. There it is. Oh, my gosh. And you better, like, comment the crap out of this yeah, we want, so that we, we, we can cover it. Yeah, we definitely want to do the next we one. Want, I love I this movie. I can't end it right here. I need to know what happens. Citizens of the reject nation, or should I say royal rejects, because that is who we call those who check out our RR apparel at rejectnationshop.com. We come out with new designs every month or every two months it is personally my favorite way you can support the channel reason being is because we are involved with every one of the exclusive rr designs that are up at the shop every month it's been growing every month we are getting more and more royal rejects and i really love to hear how people are finding the shirts to not just be cool looking but also fit nicely and feel comfortable i cared about that more than anything else i'm a hairy guy so i'm really like sensitive to the fabric we got a bunch of designs already such as our super marvel bro shirt my sister actually designed this one dead Cool Wolverine inspired, my personal favorite one. But then we also got our, like our number one bestseller, the Last Daddy T-shirt, which has Pedro Pascal from The Last of Us inspired, carrying baby Grogu. We have Loki's glorious balloon. We also have our Doctor Who shirt, which is full of a bunch of classic Doctor Who quotes on the TARDIS. We have Space Babies of the Galaxy. We got ourselves some Star Wars inspired shirts. We got a Boys inspired shirt, and we have a House of the Dragon one as well. Pointing those out because obviously. We have new seasons of those shows coming up. And then, of course, you got a bunch of other designs as well, like our Batverse one, Who Influences the Influencers, another Last of Us inspired t-shirt, and of course, you know, the classic reject symbolism t-shirts as well. Either one is an amazing way to support the channel. And like I said, you get to look good while doing it. So thank you guys so much. Do consider going to rejectnationshop.com and also tag us on social media if you end up buying a shirt please tag us we'd love to see it when people do end up buying the shirts thank you royal rejects see you guys soon if you're listening on apple or spotify please give this five stars tell us how great we are uh-huh. Oh my goodness! And, and let us know what faction you think we would. Be. She's definitely yeah. well. I, we we want to be divergent, obviously, but uh, right. I think you would be dauntless without the mind control. But yeah. uh, I don't yeah. know what I would be. But definitely, not. you still don't know. Yeah, uh, definitely not. Da- I think I'd be one He'd of be the, a farmer. E- either, either farmer or stiff, possibly. But yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I love this movie. It was great. What are you? What is your first like um, just, right off the yeah, bat? Yeah, I mean, I just I love the world building. Um, just the env- I mean, obviously, when I say the environment just like it's interesting like how they capture everything just like post it, it's just got that post-apocalyptic feel mm-hmm. obviously they said there was this great war at the the beginning and then um you get that hold on sorry let me just turn this down a little uh then you get that whole you know vibe of uh that totalitarian government feel and it's just i just think the whole world is interesting or this in chicago or whatever and then there's five factions and then everything is very like devoid of choice and like you know you go in these factions and then that's your world now you know faction over family and it's i just thought the again the world building is so done so elaborate done so well and i thought there were some really good twists in this you know Mm -hmm. from four with his father and just uh the mom being uh uh, dauntless yeah right i mean there were some really good twists in this but i think the thing that I gravitated towards most was Shailene Woodley. Yeah. She was 
phenomenal. I loved, I thought her character and also four were just really fleshed yeah. out. Uh, I really enjoyed their, their chemistry was electric. That was number, number one. I like how yeah. they really gave their characters times to breathe. That relationship really blossomed over the film. It wasn't rushed. It didn't happen right away. Like you could tell there was tension immediately, romantic tension right away, just from, uh, you know, in, a, in terms of attraction. But again, I like that they took their time with that relationship yeah. and, you know, he's very guarded, especially after we learned his his backstory a little bit, <laughs> why he's just so guarded in general. Right. But uh, I liked also, too, again, that twist with learning his backstory really quickly. Yeah. But, um, I, I like, too, that he saw so many qualities in herself that he, you know, encompassed in himself. But mm -hmm. uh, I just thought, too, there was a, a dynamic and, a dr and there was a lot of dramatic tension as well in the relationship. And I found that's why I was so invested in those two. Yeah. And I just like, too, that she never shied away from anything. She was so courageous. And I just like those are my favorite types of characters. Yeah, like, for you know, sure. They, they jump at whatever, to, you know so courageous and it doesn't matter what's going on like they're going to jump in there yeah. and I just really appreciated her character so much so fleshed yeah. out I also love that it wasn't corny. The setup with them in a lot of movies, when a guy first meets girl, and we kind of know that there's a romantic interest. Like with the hand on the hip, that could have been shot, and the vibe and the tone of this movie could have been done where it's like, yeah. it's corny. They didn't do that. They gave us that vibe where it's like, that feels like a love interest because of the camera history, because this was cast so well. And I truly think like with Neil Berger, I'm like, I'll watch all of his films. Why? Because the actors were all very believable and it was done with a tone of like believability. It wasn't yeah. like even in the sarcastic and the comedy, like Miles Teller is like, take it off, uh -huh. put it back on. It wasn't like, take it off, uh, put it back on. Like it could be like, there's a tone in, in this movie from beginning to end that really feeds into the believability of it. And I, I really think in with the factions is an overall metaphor for higher class and lower class. And they're like abdication threatens all of us. Why? Because they're helping human nature, humans in general, higher class doesn't really want to give up all of their money and their high class stuff to help like the lower class to become right. They, they still want to be, uh, not all of them, but you, you get how it's like they're in our system just here. It's it's there's a difference in class. And most of the time, high class wants it to stay. They want to stay up here and they don't really care about down here, which is why um, uh, I think it's a great metaphor of them going. We're going to send these people in to take care, uh, just basically wipe out the people who want to help who want to help human nature and help humans in general, which I thought was a, a really good metaphor just for like the world. I know we're not all like that, but that was like that. Um, and it, this movie was smart. I love the script. I love the way that it was shot and I love that they didn't miss a beat. So whoever the director, the director, obviously Neil Berger, probably made a ton of choices and the executive producer. But sometimes when there's other producers involved in a big budget movie, they get in with their like thoughts and they screw it up maybe. <laughs> and in this, I thought it was done really, really smartly. All the characters were not idiots. And the ones that were was like, oh, sure, Miles Teller. But he kind of redeemed himself. And uh I think this is a book, right? Is yes. this a book? It, it, said, it did say it was a book. So I think in me not reading the book that this was shot um, really well. I felt like, oh, this must be a book from the second she walked in to make her choice in that big coliseum and all the bowls were there and there was one that was smoking. They took their time on those shots. Like I felt like this is how it would feel maybe if I was reading it. They would be giving us a sense of the environment, maybe how she felt, how the air felt in that room of a big choice. And they continue to take their time on big choices like that and in regards to chemistry with characters. So eventually, once they kissed, I didn't think that it was... I wasn't like, oh, God, duh, they're going to kiss here. I was like, sure, we felt it coming, but it didn't feel put on. And I love that. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed this movie. Like, I'm going to, I'll watch all of them. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, I definitely want to see the next one. I also thought Kate Winslet again. I've only seen a few of her films, Titanic and a couple others, but I thought she did a really good job. 
just encompassing this villain. And I think the best type of villains are ones you understand their motivation, not ones you agree with, understand their motivation, mm-hmm. and also ones who, like, in their sick, twisted minds, they think they're doing the right thing. Yeah. Um, you know, she thought human nature in itself was evil, and she d- thought that uh, uh, what the stiffs, you know, helping people out was obviously wrong and just human nature in itself evil and was wrong and was just trying to wipe that out. Uh, and so, but I thought she can't like how her character came across. Like I understood her character. I didn't agree at all with her, but also too, she came across as a major threat, not from a physical perspective, but just in every other sense. And I thought she just delivered a very, cause again, I'm, I'm just used to more seeing her in more heroic type of character roles. Like as, like I said, from Titanic and all that, but I thought she did a good job playing a villain. So it, it showed me that she's got clearly got range. She's an Academy Award winning actress and all, but uh, it was definitely different seeing her in that. Uh, what do you think of her? Yeah, this? I thought it was great. I mean, I am a huge fan, like I said, during this reaction of Mayor of Easttown, and she does a phenomenal job in that, and she goes through a lot of range of emotions, but also Caitlin's like, we get it. She's super, super talented. In this specifically, I, I I did agree. Like, I think it's it goes a lot with the direction of, like, Neil Berger, I will not forget your name now because yeah. I love the way you directed this and I love the way you directed the actors. I did not think that one person out of this, whether it was a small role or even a stunt person, was fake to me. I yeah. believed all of it, and I really appreciate that in a movie. And um, obviously, Kate Winslet did a phenomenal job and I think it does come down to hiring very talented people and a mix of the direction and the way that this is shot and they did all around the way that the warm light is is in the beginning of like the sunset and it's warm and then we switch to those neon colors when she chooses her path with Dauntless Um, and then it gets kind of dark and hazy when it gets scary for her kind of like her first leap in the ferris wheel right we're like oh it's kind of dark and there's this moment where she has to find the light and she does and that was really rewarding for us i mean i don't i do it uh i like to do it a lot but like cheering in a movie we cheered a bunch Oh, yeah. No, for sure. It was definitely a very rewarding experience. I also, too, I loved, uh, in terms of characters and obviously performances, I loved her parents as well. Yes. Like, obviously, it's a very big deal when, you know, family members leave the faction, but that her parents, you can tell how charismatic and how much they embraced and still cared about their kid. And also, too, again, we talked a little bit about that twist with Ashley Judd. She was a Dauntless, but so she knew what her daughter was going through. And then also, too, she knew, like, had a feeling her, her child was a, a divergent. So, yeah. like, she was so protective over there over her and then also the sacrifice both her parents made and also too like we talked about the mental fortitude of uh uh trist that she had to go through like so many different um ar- array of things that she had to go through throughout the film i mean she had to like pretend that she wasn't a divergent through those mental tests the mm-hmm. challenges you know when she was doing dauntless and then in within an hour both her parents were wiped out while she's fighting her friend i mean there were so many obstacles that this character had to go through that's why i was like i'm just so amazed and so immersed uh through this character and living vicariously and just like this is why i'm invested in in strong characters like yeah. this and she gave such an incredible performance and also too when scenes like she had to show her acting range like when her parents were uh you know were, were killed Mama's like she was dying yeah, yeah. like that she was did a, a great job a, a amazing performance she gave i really loved her character so much in this and it looks like there might be two films oh my god yeah. I, I mean, thought there was only, or two more films rather you I guys there better was only, comment the crap out of yeah, this so be, we can watch yeah, all really, of them i really do want to say i don't know if neil again this is just me projecting saying this i don't know if neil Berger right did the other i'll ones. be a little um, sad if he's not because yeah. i really enjoyed this but even yeah. if it's a different director i want to give him you all know, a I chance still, yeah with the way it ended i was like damn it and there yeah. was i will say this we talked about they took their time like Building up the world, setting up the world. I was like, how is this going? I did know there was a sequel because at the mm-hmm. beginning uh, we kind of saw a picture when we were setting up the film. But okay. I was like, how are we going to end this in a way that's still going to feel satisfying and still feel like contained as a, as a film itself? Right. Without it feeling like, oh, I have to see the next one. Which I still feel, but I'm like, yeah. this is still a complete story in itself. Yeah, you know what I, I, mean? I do agree. It, it is open ended. It does For make sure. me want to watch the next one. Yeah. I also agree with you about like, you know, normally I would give crap to movies that are not directed very well when they don't give us enough time at the top. 
with um, a daughter and the parents. So when the parents die, we don't end up caring. In this, we cared. And we didn't get a ton of time with the parents. But the way that this was directed and and just even that beginning shot of like she feels safe with her mom, her mom, you know, is cutting her hair. It's like a very intimate thing. And then when they sit down with the family Mm -hmm. and they all it took was really those those hugs of like, we love you either way. And then we know, like at the end, when when dad grabs that gun, I knew like, of course, he's going to go out and sacrifice himself. And we we felt that. And normally with with other movies, if they don't put in a lot of time, I don't really feel it. But they did a great job. Somehow they they got us to feel it all. That's a great point. No, it's very I mean, it's tough in general just to make you feel. But the limited amount of screen time that we had with those characters to still make us feel that much. And you could tell even, too, when she was picking the faction, like that was a tough choice for her. She didn't Mm -hmm. want to leave her parents. So, again, Credit to Shailene Woodley, like a very, yeah. uh, very provocative, uh, embracing performance and just her facial emoting and expressions. Just great job. Yeah, again, I'd only seen her in the OC. I'm actually watching this film. I'm like, damn, I'm so sad I, we didn't get to see her as uh, Mary Jane Watson in Amazing Spider-Man 2. There is no, I mean, and seeing her chemistry with four in this, I'm like, her and Andrew Garfield would, and I'm sorry, I know this is not an amazing Spider-Man vid, uh, video or anything, but I, no doubt in my mind, she would have been a damn good Mary Jane Watson, and mm-hmm. her and Andrew Garfield would have had some some good chemistry. So yeah. that really makes me sad, and I believe this was the same year that came out, because this was oh. 2014. Well, she was busy she, on this then. No, 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 I know, but she, her her whole thing was, she filmed scenes for that movie. It, oh. was, it was completely cut out. It just got cut out. Interesting. Yeah. Um, so um, I didn't know that. But also, too, I really like the score in this uh, with Hans Zimmer yeah. and uh, Junkie XL. I, I, I know that they two years after this did Batman v Superman. So obviously there was uh, not on this film. They had never worked together, I don't think, before. But uh, obviously they had some chemistry in terms of having a rapport and working together uh, in Batman v Superman. But I thought they did a great job. Uh, just, uh, you know, I, I, I just like bringing the emotion on the sad scenes mm-hmm. and then on the action bombastic scenes. I'm like, holy crap, this is awesome. I'm cheering I for this agree. character. But um, yeah, and also to the cinematography, like you mentioned, the sweeping wide shots of the city in Chicago yeah. when they were up on the view and then we were going on on that crazy bungee. On zip line? On, yeah, the zip oh line. Oh my God, like such exhilarating Ooh. shots where I was like, I'm on the edge of my seat right yeah. now. But uh, everything yeah. they hit out of the park from the lighting to the music to the shots, they they of, made us feel like we yeah. were actually there. And that's a hard thing yeah, to and, do. There's and, a lot of directors and films that try to accomplish that and they don't get as far as this one got. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'm like 10 out of 10 put like, please, if you ever make really, another one, put me in the, <laughs> in the movie. Right. God, I would die to be in one of these movies. That is like a great, it's such a great film. I'm in love with it. I'm so happy. I got to watch it. And the most important thing, she picked up the weapons. Thank you. <laughs> Tara yes. approves. And so like, Oh my goodness. Yeah. You guys know I'm constantly here yelling at the screen, like pick up that weapon. Yes. And they did it consistently throughout this film. It's, which it's is, like they were hearing us. I appreciate. And that's why this movie has five stars. Yes. Like I, I would make five star movies too. Just give me a budget y'all. Give so, me some money and let me, let me go to town on it. Uh, or just let me be in your I'm films. I'm going to read off some fun little mo- movie trivia facts okay. for you. We'll, All do, right. we'll do a few for He's you guys. He's a fat guy. I let yeah. him let him go with All it. All right, let's see. So the sound that Peter, Miles Teller character, makes when Triss punches him in the throat is genuine. Uh, Woodley didn't want to hurt Teller, so she was being timid. As filming continued, Teller and Woodley got more aggressive, and during one take, Woodley actually hit him in the throat, which Teller was not expecting. This is the take that you saw in the film. Damn, method acting at its finest. Oh, my goodness. So now whenever I rewatch it, I'll know when she hit him in the throat. That's real. Oh my goodness. I wonder if he was like mad at her after. I'm sure like he's like, Ah! we didn't need to make that part. Don't hit me, please. Okay. You get two more facts. Go. Okay. Kate Winslet was five months pregnant during filming. Despite the fact she was only on set for four weeks, it reached the point where her pregnancy was evident. She was shot above the waist or was directed to carry folders, files, and Ah, iPads. To cover it up. That makes oh. sense because there were a lot of yeah. scenes where she wasn't doing really many physical things. So that's and, and again, I did notice there were a lot of shots where it was more, you know, waist up. So love it. That, yeah, makes sense. Uh, let's okay. Um, oh, all right. This is a long one, but this will be the last one. Okay. So Miles Teller originally auditioned for the role of four, but was told that he wasn't going to be getting the role. Months later, the producers watched 
The Spectacular Now, which came out a year before, 2013, and were so impressed that they called Teller and offered him the role of Eric, who's supposed to be at odds and intimidating towards the character four. Teller turned it down because he felt that he wouldn't be able to pull off being intimidating towards Theo James. He then... He was then offered the role of Peter, which he accepted after his friend and co-star Shailene Woodley sent him a text asking him to accept the role so that they could work together oh, again. Oh, that's so and cute. And she wanted to punch him in the throat. I love that. I, I love that they're that. best buddies. Like, that's all, that's me 100%. Like, when I make short films, as you guys know, I try uh. to cast all my friends, obviously. Shh. I love that they work together, which makes it easier that, like, if she punched him in the throat, it's like... You're still my friend. You're still my friend. I love that Tara said that because now I just makes me think she's like the Adam Sandler of her group. She's like, I got to bring all my friends. In I here. do. Like, I love. That. I do. No, that's great. If you if yeah, you are person. in film, if you're if you're an actor, I would I want to cast you that's if you awesome. fit in no, the role. I, I, um, I just want to make films with my friends, you guys. That's all I want to do. Yeah, it, it makes for a more fun environment. You know, yeah. that if there is tension, it's like, I know where you live. I know your number. So exactly. don't mess with me. And if you're a filmmaker out there or even in CAS or just anything, like whatever, comment, tag me. Like, let's build a system of a community of People who love film, but also make film, especially if you're here in Los Angeles. I can um, vouch for Tara. You will have so much fun on your set if she's there. <laughs> just, just saying, no bias aside, not because she's my friend or anything, but you will have a great time on set if she's there. And I you will love get, that you just uh, said and that. And you will get a great actress as well. So <laughs> you get, you're getting so all much. the positives. That means the world to me. Do you have any last thoughts? Just, I again, I just really appreciate it just encompassing this world. And it's also was scary at times as well. But uh, uh, Shailene Woodley loved her performance in the film and her character and the again the chemistry just the film was just amazing in itself and i really want to see the sequel so guys please 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 give yeah. lots of likes share the video make sure you write in the comment let the comments rather let greg and john know that yes. you want to see tara and i do at least the second one, if not the third one as well. I'd love to do the whole series, yeah. but at least tell them you want to see the second one. Tweet please. this reaction, shout about it yes. on Instagram stories, do it on threads. I'm all over at Tara Erickson. You know where he's at. We're we're all over the place, but please tag, share. We love you guys so much. Thank you for joining us. I'm so happy to be back and we will see you soon. Yep. Bye. 